Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live, Wednesday night edition. Yes, yes, yes. As you can see, it's myself, my main man, Transformer, and my brother, G. What's good, y'all? What's happening? Chief. <laughs> All right, all right. So we're gonna uh we're gonna hold up here, wait a couple minutes, see what we get in the uh see what we get in the chat, and then uh we are going to get it rolling. I think we got some uh we got some pretty official topics here for y'all. We got uh we got some good quick hits and we're gonna try to keep them quick. And then uh as you can see, we will do our our normal, our uh Wednesday night special to to pick them, see how that goes, and then uh we'll we'll talk about the Ravens and uh we won't go crazy, but we will talk about the Ravens. I'm keeping y'all on the time of the day. <laughs> and then we got um, Adam Silver. That should be interesting. And then uh, a little college football, which we don't normally talk on this show, but we're going to talk about Dion, Coach Prime, and, and those Buffaloes of his because um, yeah. it's looking real interesting. I think when, whenever you're talking Dion, man, it's bigger than college. I mean, that's just sports. Yeah, it could be right? interesting. What up, yeah. Bruce? No, we do not need G on his BS tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need nobody on no BS tonight. But we going we got a good show for y'all, man. We we gonna do that though. <laughs> uh, we gonna make it. We gonna make it. <laughs> oh my goodness. We gonna make it. We yes, we are. Yes, we it. are. Oh, yeah, I know what I was about to talk about. What's up, G? Stephen A, man. You think he got something against Lamar? Too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon. Yeah, no, that's not how we start the show. That's not how we start the show. That's not how we start the show. All right, all right. right. We're going to talk about LeBron, then y'all want to talk about LeBron? No, no, not even. That's that's, that's Bruce's alley, bro. That's later. No, man. Let's talk about right. our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right. No, no, no. Pat Riley getting a statue in front of uh the stadium. I think that's yeah, dope. that's dope. Yeah, that's definitely that one of the quick hits. We're gonna hit that. It that's is dope, dope man. man. Okay. We'll talk about that. All right, uh I got an interesting uh, stat on for that quick hit, too. Kind of crazy. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so um we're gonna get ready and, and get started in just a minute here. Um trickling in slowly. Uh, while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the spiel. You all know what time it is. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up if you're enjoying the content make sure you give us that like that five star review and drop a comment all that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm helps us find more sports fans helps more sports fans find us and finally make sure you write it down put it in your phone set an alarm do whatever you got to do to remember saturday nights at 7 p.m we are live here on the format podcast and we'll give you the opportunity to call in talk to us get at me i love it i can't can't wait can't wait this is one i wanted to uh discuss here so uh all right how how do, how do i how do i start this um and don't oh, worry shit. I'm not, here we go no 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 by not starting it i got this under control pop your pop popcorn. by not starting it pop your nah, popcorn you. pop your popcorn so one of the things that i talk about y'all um when i talk about lebron is the the level of control this guy seems to exhibit over everything right and how uh manufactured i think a lot of the stuff that is around his uh, career and um, around him is. And when I say manufactured, it's like everything is so carefully curated to to create the image, right? In terms of uh, controlling what people say and controlling what happens around you, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we, we've, we've heard all the stories from different people about how Clutch Sports literally tries to control the NBA media and what they can and cannot say in regards to LeBron or they will face consequences. It's crazy. Um, I don't know if you heard this, uh, Transformer. I don't know if I sent it to you. It was like uh, I was listening to something maybe earlier this week or last week, and it was talking about how way back when LeBron was in Cleveland the first time, Braylon Edwards was playing for the Browns, and he got into something – with I, I guess LeBron or some of LeBron's guys and literally like um, Eric Mangini was talking about it on uh, one of these Fox Sports One shows. Eric Mangini was talking about it and he's like the next day Braylon Edwards got traded to the freaking to the Jets. And I'm like, 
he couldn't have been that powerful, at, at least not that level in his career, that he got somebody in an entirely different sport traded out of the city. Like, that would have been crazy. But anyway, um, the, the point I'm trying to make is w- whether or not that's the case, it's like everything around him is is so carefully curated and controlled, right? And so that's what I mean when I say a lot of this stuff is is manufactured. And it's, it's frustrating to me, right? Um, when we remember uh, a while back, Kendrick Perkins, uh, when he when he um, made his commentary about LeBron and he went at him, uh, LeBron basically uh, was it blocked him on social media or unfollowed him and all this. And then uh, apparently they, they didn't like what K. Perk had to say. So they sent Clutch to talk to him like, hey, you know, watch what you say. And we, we've heard these stories from, you know, a number of people. So anyway, that's what I'm getting at. Anyway. Uh, so what I, what I wanted to talk about today, and this, this is a pretty simple one. It's not going to be too long, too in depth. Uh, recently, this was like a few days ago, maybe five days ago, no more than a week. Wait, wait, Adam wait, wait, wait. Silver- young, young disciple in the man here, right? Okay, cool. Uh, it is going to be short. All right, cool. <laughs> no, no. It hurry is, up, it is. hurry up, hurry up. Um, Leslie Barber. Uh, <laughs> Leslie Barber, I haven't seen you before, so um, thank you for coming in. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh, hit the share also. And hit the notification bell. All right, cool. So um, you guys can't be this stupid. Adam Silver is on camera in public, so it wasn't serious. Yeah, I don't know about that. Your favorite hater, Bruce. Nothing is off the table. He got his son on the Lakers. That's a fact. And so that that's another thing, right? If you watch, Brian Windhorst has consistently been one of LeBron's biggest supporters from day one, right? Because mm-hmm. I recently found out Brian Windhorst's mom used to be one of LeBron's teachers when he was in school. So I guess he knew about him from the very, very, very beginning. And basically... Brian Windhorst pretty much owes his career at this level to LeBron James, right? Because he covered him when he was with the Akron Beacon Journal. And then um, uh, even when he was with the Akron Beacon Journal, they sent him to Miami to cover LeBron all that time he was with the Heat and so on and so forth. Now, obviously, Windhorst is on ESPN and blah, blah, blah. So he literally owes his career to LeBron. So anyway, he's one of those guys that uh, anytime there's anything about LeBron, he's always defending him. He's always backing him up, blah, blah, blah. And you could tell the other day, when the stuff about Bronny not traveling with his G League team came out, Brian Windhorst had to lightly chastise LeBron and the Lakers for that. And you could see, like, it was visibly painful to him to have to do that. And so, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Um, Transform, you saw that on TV, right? No. Oh, you didn't see it? Okay. Mm-mm. Oh, you wouldn't. Oh, my bad. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I don't pay attention to it. No. Uh-huh. So anyway... Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is like this dude tries to control everything. So uh, recently, I don't know where Adam Silver was. Somebody asked him, just some random dude. I don't know if the dude was a reporter, a random dude, whoever. The guy says to him, you know, uh, who's your GOAT? Who's your greatest of all time, right? So I'm going to play the clip. It's a very short clip. I'm going to play it. Um, I tried to boost up the sound so that you can hear it as well as you can. But um, just listen, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it because I thought it was very interesting. And, of course, the LeBron fans, they're going to want to try to play the role. We already saw one in the chat talking about, oh, we, we know this is fake, blah, blah. Okay, cool. But here it is. Can't hear anything, bro. Yeah, we got some technical difficulties here. Um, okay, so I, th- I think okay, it's the so video because when you even sent it to me earlier, I didn't hear any audio. You weren't able to hear it? Yeah, that was wild. So I apologize yeah. for that, troll. I apologize. Um, I, can you paraphrase I, I, it? I done something wrong, huh? Can you paraphrase it? Uh, yeah, matter of fact, uh, give me two seconds. I think I got it here and I'll just play it so you all can hear it. Um, but yeah, this was uh, the whoever the person was asked uh, Adam Silver, you know, who's, who's your goal? Who's your greatest player of all time? And Adam Silver was like, Michael Jordan, but don't tell LeBron I said that. And I was like, well, wait, what? Like, you the damn commissioner. You say what you want to say, you know? Like, that was crazy to me. Um, let me see. Here it is. Michael Jordan, it. Silver declared, quickly adding with a smile, and don't tell LeBron I said that. Who is your coach? Who is your Okay. Who is your coach? Who is your no, he player, best out. player of all time? And, and, and don't tell LeBron I said that. <laughs> so there was a lot of noise in the background, but were you able to hear that? He says, yeah. who is your, who is your greatest player of all time? And he says, Michael Jordan, but don't tell LeBron I said that. And I'm like, why did he? Like, I, I've never heard a commissioner say something like that. That was real weird to me. I don't, I'm not sure why he felt the need he had to say that. That was, that was kind of strange. 
So, um, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop See, talking I now. A, I think and, there's a video on it, too. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I'm gonna start with G, and then we'll get to Transformer. What What are your thoughts on this, G? Man, I I really don't care too much for these commissioners, especially if they never played the game. Um, just, Say that again. Um, I don't. Say that again. I don't care too much for these commissioners. Mm-hmm especially when they haven't played the game. I think him mm-hmm. saying that MJ is his, his GOAT, I mean, it is what it is, bro. Like, he's just a lot of – that. we already went over the, the topic where this GOAT debate shit and how it's it's just designed to, to bring people in and have something to debate mm-hmm. about. Um, mm-hmm. uh, it, 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 that's, that's all it is. Is um, We comparing stats. This guy's still playing, man. I don't know how. I have no freaking clue how he not – Bone on bone pause out here playing playing basketball, putting in triple doubles. It's crazy. It's unheard of. Yeah. Um, and so that's the bigger question. Like, how is he still doing this? But no one else has ever been able to fight and father time the way he's been able to do it. Mm-hmm. And maybe, maybe he's a goat in that aspect of it, right? Like he's been able to, to, to give you that. himself. Yeah, he's been able to keep himself. Um, in tip top shape and still, um, uh, he got dunked on by a fourth forklift driver in the Olympics, the biggest stage. But I mean, he's still out there, man. Like he's still he's still out there, and so I'm um, he high probably level. had to. Yeah, he had to play another hundred years to pass Michael Jordan, and it ain't gonna happen. So I mm-hmm. mean, it is what it is. Most most people with level heads and 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 understanding of the game know that, um, mm-hmm. but. You know, that's that's all it is. Transformer, go ahead, man. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm with D on this one. Um, it's his opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, what am I? Am I supposed to debate him? Right? Am I supposed to debate what Adam Silver's saying? I mean, I get partially. I get why he's like, okay, don't tell LeBron I said that because who was the face of the league? It's LeBron James, right? So I mean. He could say that as a pun. I mean, as he said, he jokingly smiled about it when when he walked away. Like, okay, don't tell the face of the league who I'm currently put in charge of the product that I'm commissioning. Don't tell him. Yeah. And then walk like walk away, right? Mm-hmm. If he didn't want LeBron to hear it, he would have never said it at all. Adam Silver is a smart man. He's not dumb. He's not retarded. Mm-hmm. He holds massive a massive amount of PhDs. If he didn't want to say it and he didn't want LeBron to hear it, he would have never answered the fan in the first place. So I think this is an overreaction to think that, okay, something would have happened to Adam Silver if he would have, you know, if this was a get out to LeBron. He would have never said it to begin with. So I just think it's, it's his opinion. You know, everybody has their own GOAT. Like we said, uh, Kanye and Pepper Anthony has Paul George, right? Paul <laughs> Brandon George. Miller has Paul George, right? I have Kobe Bryant. You know, you guys have Jordan. People have LeBron. I mean, I, I really got much, not much to say about that. Um, mm-hmm. but that's his opinion. I don't think, it, I think it's, it, I think it's an overreaction to say that, you know, he said that because he's afraid of LeBron. <clears throat> I don't think so. Cause he would have just never said it. So for me, uh, less, less about the GOAT debate, right? Because mm-hmm. as I've said, how many times I don't believe there is a debate there. There's no GOAT debate. That's, that's another thing when it comes to LeBron that's so totally manufactured. There's no real go. There's no real debate there. That's silly. Um, so I'm not even going to go down that route. I just thought it was interesting whether it was tongue in cheek or not. Why would he have to feel the need to say, don't tell LeBron I said that? That's really weird to me, right? Because let's say, you know, when when Kobe was the face of the league, right? Um, when, when Kobe was the face of the league, somebody could have said Michael Jordan is the greatest, but don't tell Kobe. Nobody was going to say, but don't tell Kobe, right? Like, why is – I guess I'm asking – why does there seem to be this need, this need by all the members of the media to dance around anything when it comes to LeBron? There seems to be this legitimate fear of offending this guy, and it's crazy. Well, we're talking about the commissioner, not the I'll, media. And, but, but, I, and that's true. That's true. But I'm just, I, I bounce it to the media because obviously that's where my mind is. And then, you know, like I talked about in the opening of this topic, just hearing, um, you know, the way the media does it in terms of dancing around this dude even when he needs to be critiqued or criticized or whatever the word you want to use is, 
they always have to put, well, let me start by saying LeBron James has had an incredible all-time great career. And LeBron James is Mount Rushmore, a great father, and da-da-da-da. And uh, when his wife gets groceries, he helps her bring the groceries in and put them in the fridge and all this crap, right? So, all right, cool. <laughs> you always got to hear you always gotta hear all this other you're stuff. Pr- you're prompting young disciple to come up in the chat, bro. I'm just saying, you, you always hear all this other stuff before, before that happens. So, anyway... Um, I just wanted to kind of address this because I thought it was real interesting that he felt the need to say that like that. Cause I've, I've never heard that said. Um, I've never heard that, you know, any other player be referenced in that way. Like, but don't tell so-and-so I said that you know, that's really weird. Right? Like I know it's a different sport, but if somebody were to say, um, if somebody were to say, uh, uh, who, who's the best quarterback of all time? Oh, it's Joe Montana. But don't tell Tom Brady I said that. Like that stuff doesn't get said. You know what I'm saying? Who's but the I think you, all, you gotta also look at it's, it's Adam Cordy's Silver's quirky. <laughs> He's a quirky type of guy, right? Like tries to be funny. Donald Sterling ain't saying nothing good about nobody. Mm, mm. David Stern, my bad. I said Donald Sterling. I know, Sterling. I, know, uh, I, know da- what you mean. I know what you da- mean. David Stern is a complete asshole. He was an asshole. I went off one day. I went off one day. I went off uh, one day. Somebody mentioned that buff. Excuse me. I ain't going. We're oh, not David doing Stern? this today, fellas. Yeah, we're not doing this today. David Stern was a, without me saying, lack of better words, uh, uh, a D-head, bro. Like, he didn't care. Yeah. If it didn't go his way, he's going to veto it, as you well, can see I, with plenty of ways, right? So what I, Adam what Silver is that, that real quick, though. friendly guy. So, But guess what, though? We've all had leaders that are friendly and leaders that are the D-head. And guess who makes the better leader most of the time? It's generally the D head because he he makes stuff happen. The league, the league, I'm not going to say the league itself, but what David Stern did was place consistently place a better product on the floor that we have now, no matter how we feel about him as a person. The product that we got was way better than, and all this international that's allowing the league to, um, you know, continue to flourish because realistically, as a domestic product, the league is suffering, right? We know that. But China is the number one consumer of the NBA. So they're making tons of money off China, tons of money off Europe. And now they're even really digging into Africa, right? Pause. So they're, they're getting they're getting a lot um, that now they're really trying to uh, mine this, um, you know, the African continent for, for more money and for more players, et cetera. So I, I'm getting all that. But at the end of the day, to your, to your point, to push back, I would much rather see Obviously, he's dead, but I would much rather see David Stern as the commissioner than Adam Silver. Adam Silver is terrible. He's a terrible commissioner. One of the worst in the game. He stinks. He's not good. But um, I will leave it right there. I'm not going to, like I said, I, I told you all, I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole. I'm, I'm going to leave it right there. But I just, I, I like that like a nation. I don't, I don't think he gives a damn. I think he does. I think he does. I think he's. I mean, it, I mean, obviously, I mean, honestly, it was a joke because what? Like, okay, you're the commissioner of the NBA. That has to. That's a different level of voting, right? You got to be out your mind to say LeBron got that much power that he can have something happen to Adam Silver on his way out the I door, right? Happened. It's not like he. Like, like, what is he supposed? What, what he supposed to say? Like, oh, I, Adam Silver need to be out the door. He gonna get him traded out of being a commissioner? Nah, man, who, who nothing's knows? gonna happen to him, right? I, th- I think, it's a, I think it's a little bit of an overreaction. You know, like I said, he jokingly said it. Hey, don't tell LeBron mm-hmm. I said that. Adam Silver, it, to be quirky, to be, he's more player friendly. Fa- he's player fan friendly. That's the type of commissioner he is. Player fan f- fan f- friendly. Whatever it takes to make the fans happy, smile, the younger generation, not ours, Bruce, so I'm not going to say to make you happy, but to make the younger <laughs> generation happy, he does it. He's going to implement it into the to the league, and in the next two years, it's it's a definite fact. We're doing this, right? This mm-hmm. makes the next generation happy because he's targeting the younger generation that's before us. The man's smart, right? The man is a genius when it comes to his craft and being a commissioner like and his him. own retrospect, right? If he... if if the if he didn't mean to say anything to offend LeBron, he would have never said it. Mm. He would have easily just said, oh, so "I'm just not going to answer that question, guys." You guys know, you know, Commissioner Lee, yeah, some some jazz, the Euro step, James mm-hmm. Harden that joint around the question, and he would have kept it mm-hmm. moving because that was just some random fan, some random guy, right? It's not like there's yeah, a I, I don't know who that reporter guy. or something like that. It's just a random guy asking the question, like, "Hey, Shane, I mean, you know?" He thought since it was some random guy, he could get away with it without it, you know? No, no. 
Everybody just, knows oh, that shiny ball head, bro. You're Adam Silver. You're commissioner the NBA, bro. You 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 stick out like a sore thumb, right? What? I right, get it, man. Bro, you can't be making everything a pause. Let's be serious. Sometimes, I ain't even say nothing. Let's be serious that, sometimes. Man. Like, dang. Like, I ain't you, even say you, nothing. You can spot Adam Silver out in the whole crowd and be like, yeah, that's Adam Silver right there. Like, he ain't blending in with nobody. <laughs> He's Ooh. not blending in with nobody, right? Oh, my goodness. But, yeah. I just yeah. think it's, yeah. If he, right. if he didn't mean anything about it, he wouldn't have said it. Fair enough. Well, we can yeah. leave it right there. I told y'all I wasn't, you know, I just <laughs> wanted to. I'm just trying to get up out of here before, you hey, know. Man, I, want, I want you to be proud of me, man. I think I did well with that. I know? think you did great because you could have <laughs> went down a whole tangent. I told you I well, wasn't going to do that. LeBron tonight. is the massive media manipulator. <laughs> He's going to manipulate the league to institutionalize, to make him last longer for five more years so he can play with Bryce. <laughs> no, nah, we're not doing any of that. None of that. Uh, do we want to open up the phone lines real quick, see if anybody got anything to say about it? I don't think so, but. I mean, we can't. I mean, Lake Nation's been yeah. chatting about it. I mean, Steve is just being Steve. So, Steve. <laughs> being Steve. <laughs> All right, y'all. If anyone has to has a quick call in on this topic, um, this wasn't a big, you know, this wasn't a big. I just thought it was. I thought it was neat. Honestly, I just wanted to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I I really didn't think it was that big a deal. I just I wanted to talk about it. I thought it was cool. Anything to talk about LeBron, huh? I, I mean. You know, if we're talking about that. LeBron, let's talk yeah. about like if we're talking about the Lakers, we should mm -hmm. be talking about Don't Connect, right? Connect Man, four. 37 and last night. 37 Beautiful. bomb that boy Beautiful. dropped last night. The kid when I tell you, good. that kid has no fear. Bro, bro was just pulling up, like, nah, bro, this is uh, yeah, he's letting it go. Uh, yeah. Uh, cash. 9-11 yeah. from three. Well, 9 12 by the last shot, but right, right. But was oh, he on the wing? Ball. He was on the wing, this, wasn't he? Let's grab this. I think Bruce calling back. For my podcast. What up, Bruce? I'm gonna make it quick. I ain't gonna be I ain't gonna be long. No doubt. Um no doubt. I wouldn't say um Adam I don't want I wouldn't say Adam Silver uh he he doesn't fail LeBron, bro LeBron. I think got you got respect for him though. I think so too. His, 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 yeah, I think he he, he holds his, his word his his word is I, I think they go to each other for and I think Adam Silver probably go to LeBron for insight and stuff like that. I think so. You don't, you, 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 they, they hold conversations and stuff. I, I, I truly, I see, I see LeBron being the commissioner one day of the NBA. Oh I can God. truly see that. No, nah, I, I think he be an owner. No, you want to be an owner. I can, I, I can't even want to be an owner, but I can see. What's the name of his firm with uh, Rich Paul of him? What's the name? Clutch. Clutch. I can see Clutch <laughs> Clutch was going to run the league one day. Telling you, Bruce, be prepared for it, brother. <laughs> I was messing with you. But Wait, I what do you say? What you say, Bruce? Number two. <laughs> Clutch sports will run the league one day. <laughs> they already run the league. LeBron, 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 LeBron be, I, I can see the broad being the commissioner of the NBA, though. You can't see that. You don't think nah, I see him being more of an owner, though. Because mm -hmm. he likes team manipulation, like player manipulation, manipulating yeah, losses and yeah. stuff like that. And I think you got to have a different level of degrees for it to be a commissioner, though. Like you have to have well, certain amount of degrees. Yeah, most you know, most of the commissioners are lawyers. Yeah, most yeah. of them are lawyers. So, oh, like okay. you got to pass a bar and all types of stuff. Yeah. Said, well, uh, Trump not a politician, but he he's the president right now. Well, Trump all right, we, we, okay. we are not, not going that far. Come on, Bruce, number two. Well, let's back in. Come on, we're not going back in, bro. Nope, 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 nope. Eat the dogs. They eat the cats. We're not I'm doing this. Baltimore. I'm from East Baltimore, bro. That, none of that shit don't matter to me. Like, bro, I just said, like, ain't you don't even expect I'm Steve to do that. So don't take it like, you know what I mean? Don't, get, don't bust my balls about playing the man name, man. Right. But I'm saying, um, <laughs> um, I just feel like, uh, they, I just, I, I'm still like, you respect my bro. It's, it's not fair. It's a respect thing. No, no, no. I, 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 I listen. In, in yeah, fairness, yeah. I was just being silly, man. I think he does respect yeah, LeBron. And um, yeah, well, in, in all seriousness, yeah. though, like if you're Adam Silver, why wouldn't you? LeBron's been in the league yeah, 22 he? years. Yeah, he's, you know, your most tenured guy among the players. That's a guy you should look to. LeBron, Chris Absolutely. Paul, those guys. So, so it is what it is. He'll be the first player to play 30 years in the NBA. Right. Look, LeBron, a model citizen, man. He mm -hmm. no, no drama, no. Man, listen. 
I don't know why your personal vendetta against the Bruce, but I mean, you won't get into that. It'll be a whole few hours on the phone. Nope, don't we're do not doing that. Yep, not, not doing that. Personal, personal vendetta. Personal I vendetta. Don't Jesus. I like that one. And not on Jesus. Jesus. Not on Jesus. Right 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 and we're not doing that. Tonight. But no, but seriously, though. Directed why attack. You, why you think Adam Silver? Why you, hey, Bruce, why you think Adam Silver horrible on commissioner? Damn, I don't think he horrible. Damn, Bruce, that was hard, buddy. Horrible. But you know what? You, you know what? You know what, Bruce? I, I, I'll help you out. I'll help you. You're out. gonna move on from here, but let's. Okay. I think we should make this another topic, another time. I think that's dope. Most reasons. Yeah, I think I like that. Keep going, man. Quick take, man. Come on. Yeah, really give, give, go ahead, Transformer. No, I'm, I'm not going down the rabbit hole. So <laughs> I, I, I mentioned I mentioned this earlier, right? Adam Silver is a younger generational fan pleaser, Absolutely. player Absolutely. lover, Absolutely. right? right. He right. wants to be in that circle to where everybody right. that I'm commissioning loves me, right? Bruce's mentality is still 90s, 80s. So Damn, with, I, I'm just, like like basketball wise, like you know, that like cat, that, cat, that structure cat, of back right. <laughs> in the age of Bruce. Cat, cat. But like that Ooh. that mentality of how everything's structured. It's a matter mm -hmm. of like things are changing in a direction he just didn't want them to change. But Adam Silver okay. is pleasing the younger generation who's more than willing to accept that change. The three-point line, all this three-point shooting. Adam Silver like, okay, well, let's implement rules and stuff to get more three-point shooting because all these kids want to do it. Traveling, James Harden. He's like, everybody's, everything's about a bag. He wants to get hit like, oh, everybody got to have a bag? Cool, let's institutionalize the gather step. Let's start adding that, implementing that. That's, that's pissing Bruce off. Bruce doesn't like that type of basketball. Right. He's look, he looks at his Boston Celtics, and he's like, damn, that's a really good team. But why are we taking 55 threes a game, right? Like, why are we airing the, airing the football out and having three-point shootouts? That's Adam Silver. Adam Silver's like, hey, three-point shooting, those bombs from Steph Curry, Trey Young, Damian Lillard, those guys pulling from 30, that's what gets us the clicks. That's what the young kids like. Let's implement more of that. That's that's a more reason why Bruce doesn't, doesn't like Adam Silver because Adam, oh, Adam Silver is more like Adam let's Silver move in that pissed. direction. Well, he was pissed at the All Star game for them not playing hard. So I don't think can it, maybe he, he wanted to play a little bit hard at the All Star game. It's basically they basically playing fifty put out in the All Star game. We ain't gonna get into too deep into it, but like he was, you just he was visibly pissed at the end of the All Star game. Like what That's the fuck was that? You nobody play no defense. Like, it was all, it was all lost. So, um, and I don't want to get into it too deep. I don't want to hold you up to too long. Um, yeah, I just think he respect LeBron, and I'm going to say, yeah, he, he's a fair up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but Bruce, yeah, I was, before you transform, I like that. Huh? Bruce, before you go, how long, how much longer do you think Lamar, Le, LeBron going to be able to play? At this point, three years. Well, tough, well, the other day he said two years, he, he does. The other day, two. But LeBron yeah. can play for uh, six. LeBron will go old man again. LeBron will play for five years. He probably his, his trade might drop off, but he could go five. He could go to five. You think? He, do you he, think he still? Do you think ahead. he still? Um, he still chasing MJ's legacy? No, you know, I think I think nah. he, the way he's, he's in a different now, status right now. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a different, he's a different yeah. because he, he conquers everything he needs to conquer. His son made the league. Yeah. Um, so he played with his son. That was his. That was his dream. He, he basically did everything he was supposed to do. No. Yeah. No, he, I think uh, at, at this point of his career, he's in a part of his yeah. career where no other superstar ever made it. Right. If he ever wins played. now, he passes Jordan now. Only thing you're going to hear where it took him 25 years to do it. Right. right. So at that point, th there's no point in really chasing the ghost that that's uncatchable. Right. That ghost is long gone. Right now, he he's creating a different level of like. We've never seen this done at this age, at this stage of your of your career, right? He can create that different lane and move in there, and like and like uh, Bruce Number Two just said that he got his sons in there, like breeding up, breeding that up, you know, thinking about that after career move, um, you know, what he's gonna do for the NBA post his retirement. So yeah. Hey, let me ask you another question, Bruce. Do you think Bronny deserved to be in the league? Oh man, Bronny deserved to be in the league. That's a tough one. That's a tough uh, one. No, no, 
Yes, he's a 55th pick. I didn't say fit. Worst, worst was 55th pick. I mean, okay. hey, he's a 55th pick. That's no, that's no wrong answer, bro. That's no wrong answer. It's just, your, it's just your views. What you think about that, Bruce? From us coming up, no, he can't. As far as this game, he not a, he not a dog. He ain't got no dog in Ain't got no dog in him. No, nah. nah, on some real I shit. Be real. Be real. Be real. Who? We who we grow up no, looking no. at? Who we who did we grow up watching, dog? Like we ain't never seen nothing like this ever. False who? Brownie? Brownie, yeah. You said if you drop you asked me, do I believe Brownie belong in the league? <laughs> yeah. Do you ask me that? Yeah. I said, no, he, said, he, not, he ain't got no dog in him. No, uh, I don't believe yeah. he. Brody does not belong in the league, but it's a good thing that it happened. He could play, but okay. he, ain't got, he ain't got no dog in him, dog. He ain't got no, he ain't got no pit bull in him. I'm sorry. Yeah. He, yeah. Don't. he ain't got the chip. Got he, ain't got got no he ain't got the he chip. Got, he ain't got it in him, man. But I, don't think got, I don't think his dad got, got a chip on the shoulder either, though. Like, his dad ain't have, ain't have a chip on the shoulder either. And I think that's well, why he's chasing the home. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, he just like Brownie, but well, know what I'm saying? The Brownie uh, and a influencer, yeah, he is just a influencer, a video gamer. It's just a, it's a big, it's a big reality TV show going on right now. Man. Yeah. All right, let me let me let me hop in here with some breaking news, y'all. Let me hop in with some breaking news. UConn coach Gino Ariema is now the winningest coach in D1 history, and he had 1,217 career victories. So shout out, Coach Ariema. Hey, wait to the never you never heard of him. You never heard of Gino Ariema. He tried to change the channel, bro. He over that motherfucker going crazy. You see him transform. He over that joint. Breaking news. All right. Break this shit up. Break this shit up. Don't mean to cut y'all off, but breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I ain't going to cut my man my man conversation off about some damn Gino Ariema. I ain't going to cut him off. I ain't going Because he's one of the best basketball coaches in history. That's why. He is. But. He's one of the best basketball coaches ever. Hey, G, if you know, you know. If you know, you know, you know. Dog. <laughs> That's my guy, though, Brucey, though, for real. But like I was saying, hey, yo. <laughs> Kanye Anthony. Oh, man. Kanye, uh. We need to start talking about Kanye Anthony at Thursday. We about yeah, we'll do Kanye that when he gets there. Thursday. We'll do that when he gets here. Yo, yo listen, I, listen. I, I, we got to uh, we gotta run and move on to this next topic, man. I'm going to hit y'all back. Go ahead. No doubt, back. brother. Appreciate All the call. Right. All right. <laughs> Diabolical, man. He's so disrespectful, yo. <laughs> For anybody that missed it, Gino Ariema is now the biggest history division in history. 1,200 career victories. Nah, I just got that. I just got that. So I wanted to show love to Gino. No, it is breaking news, but damn, all bro. Time, all time great. So I wanted to make sure I show him, show him that love. 